Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the new Mechagodzilla 2021 close-up face. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Mechagodzilla 2021 face, we're going to begin with the eye. So I'm going to start right about here and we're just going to make a small kind of oval shape for the eye. Next, starting here, we're going to add a little curved line. And I'm going to make a little line that goes down and then back like this. Now, starting here, we're going to draw a diagonal line right above it. It's going to continue and then it's going to come down and over. Make a little line that goes down, over, and up. Another one that goes down, over, and then up. Make a little line that's going to come down, it's going to go over, and then up here. With another little one that goes down, over, and up. Next, I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring this up. We're going to go over. Now I'm going to bring this up and we're going to come straight across here. Next I'm going to take this line and we're going to bring it back here. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to take this right back to here. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down, and it's going to come over to here. And we're going to make a line that's going to go down, and it's going to come over, up, over. We're going to go over, and then right to here. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, and it's going to come down to here. Now starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to angle over. We're going to go over, up, over, and down. Then I'm going to bring this down, and then it's going to come up to here. I'll make another line that's going to come down a little farther, and then this one's going to angle up here too. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to come up and then bring it right up to here. We're going to make a line that's going to go over and it's going to come up. And another one's going to go over and then up to here. Now, starting right about here where this little point is, we want to draw a line that's going to come out not too far. It's going to come down. Then it's going to come over. Then we're going to come down, over, we're going to go up and over. And then right here we're going to go over, we're going to come down, over, and then up. Kind of form where the teeth are. The little line that comes right in between. Next, we're going to make a line that goes down. It's going to go straight down and it's going to angle in. Then we're going to go down and then over to here, right between the teeth. We're going to add another tooth over here. Down and up. And then we're going to make another tooth right here and go over. Right up here, we're going to make lines go ahead and go up, over, and then down. Now, let's jump back over here to where the jaw is. We're going to go down and angle over. Then we're going to come down. We're going to come down to a point and then up and bring it up to here. Here. 
right here we're going to make a line that's going to come up and then down. Then we're going to put a large oval shape in here with another oval shape on this side and then one more in here. We're going to make a line that's going to come down. It's going to go down like this. It's going to go up and then over. Draw a little line down. Line that's, then we're going to add a little rectangle shape here for a tooth. A little bit of space, we'll make a smaller rectangle shape here. A little bit of space, and then another longer one right here. Make a line that goes over. We're going to come down, over, and up. We're going to bring this over. We're going to go down, over, up, and then connect to here. Make a line that's going to go down all the way to here. Another line that's going to go up, over, down, and up. Right here we're going to make lines going to go up at an angle, over, up, and then connect to here. Then we're going to make this line go down and then over here just to kind of form where that other part of the mouth is. We're going to add two little lines right here, and a little line that goes down and then over. Now, kind of starting back here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up and in, and I'm just going to do this a few more times to show where there's some more details. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, it's going to go over, it's going to curve a little bit, come down, and then up here. Now I'm going to add a long line here and a long line right there. Next we're going to draw a line that goes down to here. Another one that goes down and then out this way. And another one up here. We'll add another little line this way. Right up here we're going to make a long line for the spike that goes up and over. We'll add another little line right here that goes up and over, and a little line that's going to come up and then straight in. Right up here we're going to make a line that goes up, it's going to come up at a diagonal, it's going to come down and then straight down here. We'll add a little line down, and another little line that goes out and then down here. Next right here we're going to make a line that goes up and then down. Then another little line here so it looks like it's got kind of like an indentation. Over here we're going to make a line that goes down, over, and up. We're going to make a line that goes down and then down again. We're going to go over and up. Another one that goes down, in, over, and up. We're going to go just kind of follow that pattern a little bit right here. We're just going to add some little lines on here. Okay, so this is our basic shape of our Mecha Godzilla. We have a lot of details in here. Now we just want to come in here and add some of the little more fine tuning details. Right here, we'll draw a little line that goes down and then comes up to here. Right in here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, it's going to go straight to here. We're going to make a little line that goes over, down, and then over like this. Make a little line that comes right across the top. And then it's going to go up here. A little line that's going to come down and then over here. We're going to make a little line right here that goes down and over. Make a line that goes over, up, and then comes over here. A little line that goes down like this. And we're going to add a couple of lines in there. We'll add a little line that goes down, over, and then it's going to angle up. 
with a couple little lines right there. We're going to make a couple little extra lines, maybe a square shape or two in here with another little line. Low line is going to go down and then over. A couple little lines in here. We'll make a little line or two in here. And then a little kind of line just to make this look a little more three-dimensional. Add a couple little skinny rectangles over here. A couple little kind of broken lines, just kind of where the teeth are, just to kind of show them where they stand out a little bit. Make a couple little extra detailed lines right around here. And a couple of lines right around there. I'm going to throw just some broken lines in on some different spots here just to kind of make a little more details in some different areas. Bring a little line up here. These little broken lines just kind of add a little bit of detail to it, make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to add just a couple big little lines in here too. We'll add another little line here and here. We'll add a little kind of broken line right around, around the top here, show where there's going to be some different colors. And just a couple quick little lines on some of these areas. And then this is pretty much it. This is our Mecha Godzilla. Now there are a ton more details we could add. You could do lots of different things on here, but we're just going to try to keep this somewhat simple for so everyone can follow along. But there you go. There's your drawing of Mecha Godzilla's face 2021. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.